Sun Tzu in the other war talked about the importance of warfare because the survival of a nation depends on combat. In peacetime, the production processes of the organizations determine the success or failure of an organization. Therefore, it is of the utmost importance to acquire the process ninja skills. Here is a brief summary, trying to, to combine about two weeks worth of material into 15 minutes. The first principle is called the common cause versus special cause principle from Dr. Deming. If out of 100 people who enter your office, 90% of them trip and fall, one is safe to conclude that something is going on with the walkway. It is not the fault of somebody who is careless or somebody who had, some, who had too much to drink. Or when the freeway is all backed up, it is not the problem of, a, of one driver. It is a systems problem. And the systems are owned by leadership, by management. Therefore, we establish that there is a problem. It is a process, process problem. And it is the problem of leadership, of management, of the C-suite. That's what the common cause versus the special cause principle does. If 92% of the releases going into production are, were unplanned in September, clearly we have a systems problem here. The second principle is very fairly simplistic. The reason we come down to principles is because it's very difficult to cross or go, go across industries and the size of companies and different cultures and different nations. So we talk about principles and principles are supposed to be simple, self-evident common sense. So the second principle is output equals input plus process, right? Output. If leadership or management only focuses on output, then they are nothing more than spectators because output is historical, it's already happened. It's the same as driving down the highway looking in the rear view mirror. It's entropy. To make a difference, we have to look at the input plus processes. The common saying is that, well, the input to any process should be quality. We should have quality vendors and so on. But let's focus on quantity and priority. If the input to any production process are not prioritized, then what happens is you have mission critical, keep the lights on projects, production problems, regulatory requirements projects, all of those projects are competing with second rate or less urgent projects. And different projects are assigned to different people. And a project may not be of the highest priority for the company, but it is higher, highest priority for that person. And that person's performance evaluation is based on it. Therefore, you create intrinsic conflict in the team, process-driven culture. Priority is very important. And the quantity of input. If you give three, it says somebody is an expert juggler. You give him two oranges. You give her 20 oranges. You give her 200 oranges. At some point, the person is going to fail. It is absolutely important to have flow control, capacity planning, how many projects need to be done by how many programmers. And of course, the one common reaction is, oh, sky is falling. We, we, are, we have explosive growth. We have dynamic situation. We have 300% growth in the last six months. That's all good and well. 
However, scalability is based on intact processes and training. Look at McDonald's, look at Apple, look at anybody who has to grow, anybody who needs to scale. You must have solid processes and solid documentation for training. Otherwise, you cannot scale successfully. Therefore, processes are not an afterthought that, well, after we figure this and that out, we will go back and look at processes and figure out the culture. It is foundational to the very f production process of the company. Output equals input plus process. Process, every step must add significant value. No non-value ad added activities, NVAs. And every step should be designed to be error-free, not error-prone. Again, common sense. These are basic process design skills. When the production environment, the production processes have gone wrong, something is broken severely for prolonged periods of time, the company can become terminally ill. And because of the lack of cross-training and because of the lack of focus on the production processes, we end up with no documentation, and we end up with no cross-training, and we end up with bottlenecks. According to the theory of constraint, also it's a typical common sense Six Sigma principle from Dr. Deming. What do you do to reduce bottlenecks. You reduce the workload of a bottleneck. So that means if I'm working with bottlenecks around me who are too busy to answer their phone call, whom I walk up to their desks, they are on the phone conference call looking into a WebEx on their screen, and I tell them what the problem is, they bring up the code and they make the change on, on the fly, and then they make a mistake which takes another two, three days to figure out. The way to deal with bottlenecks is to not stay in your pigeonhole, is to acquire basic knowledge of the workstations adjacent to you. So you, do, you don't become entirely dependent on the SMEs, whether it's a requirements person, construction manager, programmer. You try to acquire some of, some of the knowledge yourself, therefore you can help to document, help to train other members, and help to do some of the analysis and preventing crisis and debugging by yourself. This is a key skill. However, when the production processes are misaligned for long periods of time, the job descriptions, the onboarding process, the training system, the evaluation system, the performation, performance appraisal system, all of them have become misaligned. It does, those, those performance appraisals and orientation, they do not tell you what the real situation is. They do not tell you what you need to do to really succeed. So people continue to pretend. Oh yeah, so what does the, what does the customer expect this project to be delivered? The project is three years late. And they still ask such questions. It makes you wonder if they are working in the same company or not. Output equals input plus process. The bottlenecks, we talked about it. We talked about scalability. The totality 